This time we're going to be looking at bundling external libraries and let's look at the example of trying to run our app in Internet Explorer 11. So I've got the browser here and if I reload this we're going to see in the console that promise is undefined and this is nothing to worry about, we didn't do anything wrong. If we check can I use, we can see the promises have very very good coverage but Internet Explorer 11 obviously doesn't support promises. Now, just to make a point, I'm not advocating for development for Internet Explorer, but I think this is a very good use case to show how we can deal with bundling external libraries. And I believe polyfills are a perfect example here. So just before we start, let's do a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to change my rollup config just slightly. So... And a comment minification so we can see unminified output of our build. So if I run npm run build and we investigate our dist folder, we're going to see everything is unminified. Let's just have a quick look what is actually happening. So because we are using async await in our app.ts, this code will be transpiled to promise. Now, promises are very well supported and we shouldn't have to worry about it. But if we want to support something ancient like Explorer 11, we're going to have to polyfill this. Now, we're going to have a promise here. And then let's look at our library and system.js. And if we look at system.js, we're going to find that there are promises as well. So polyfilling our bundle one by one doesn't really make sense. So we could just drop our polyfill before our loader, but I think a better way would be just to bundle this into our system.js. We're gonna have to load our loader anyway, every time we're gonna include any JavaScript. So it just makes sense to have our polyfill in here. Let's install promise polyfill, add this as dependency, npmi save dev promise polyfill. And let's just have a quick look how we could go about bundling this. So one way of doing that would be to go to our file, for example, app.ts and import a polyfill for its side effects. So we could simply say import our polyfill. Now, if I build this, we're going to see in our app.js that our polyfill was bundled in. So if I look for polyfill, we can see the code was bundled in, but it was bundled inside our system.register, inside our system loader. Now, this is loaded after our module loader. Well, we still get that promise is undefined in Internet Explorer. So better way of doing that would be to bundle this in in our system.js. So now you can see uh, that there is a method to this madness why we actually pass in system.js through our bundler. We're going to add additional dependency. And what I'm going to do, npmi dash dash save dev roll up plugin polyfill. What this plugin allows us to do, it allows us to include polyfills in our bundles. So now this is install. We should be able to import that at the top of our file like so we're importing polyfill from rollup plugin polyfill and now we should be able to use it so in our plugins we're gonna say polyfill now this function accepts an array of our polyfills and now what we can do we can pass our promise polyfill in there so let's do that like this. Now, if I try to build this with npm run build, we're going to see unresolved dependency warning. And also, when we check our system.js at the very top of the file, we will see that rollup instructed to import our polyfill. Now, this is not going to work. So, what's happening? We are importing our polyfill from node modules but once we are going to serve our app we're not going to have any more access to our node module so this will become unresolved dependency so in that case what we can do we can install 
another plugin called plugin node resolve and what it does if we try to import something from node modules it will grab the module and it will put it into our bundle instead of trying to import it so let's install this as a dependency again npmi dash dash save dev rollup plugin node resolve now we can go back to our rollup.config and we're gonna import this at the very top of the file so importing resolve from rollup plugin node resolve now we can add this to our bundle so before the polyfill i'm gonna say resolve and now if we try to build this we should see a different behavior so we don't get any more warning about unresolved dependency and if we check our system.js we're gonna see that our polyfill was actually bundled in as a last step is just to go and check in internet explorer if this is actually working so if i reload this boom our app is working so now let's just put back our minification plugin like so and let's just uncomment this import and let's build this again and we've got an error in here i forget the comma so let's build again reload and everything seems to be working as expected if this video helped you in any way please remember to click that like button or even subscribe as always i will include link to a github repository in the description thank you for watching